Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part two from early September until the end of the herping season. So hope you guys enjoy and we're going to start off with some clips I took while in southeastern Colorado. Enjoy. One jaw. Whoa. Hey, oh, he's tall. Careful, right. dog. Get your hook out of there. Wait. <laughs> oh no, what are you gonna do? I ruined the picture with Uranus. Bro, I'm gonna post these. Really? No, are you gripping it at all? No. That's what the hell? Bizarre. Bro, he's gotta be tripping or something, and it's like 65. Alright, let's put why it back. He's tripping. Yeah, I agree. He's, he's been hanging out with hogs. Was it, it was going this way. Snake. As soon as I start filming, it doesn't start striking, of course. Oh, there he goes. Very nice. Western Massasauga. It's the greatest ship plains of Colorado. Beautiful. Coach with more, too. I can pick him up. You know, he's. Acting all I have these beetle bites like all over my face. Very nice. I don't even know what is going on. I got them like all over my thighs of all places. Beautiful snake. Very nice elegance hanging out. Oh, got under my uh, bracelet there. Anyway, yeah, just right next to the river. There's a uh, leopard frog right in there that I'm gonna look for when I'm done with this guy. Um, it's two today. The other one was much smaller than this one, so uh, good find, yeah. I mean, he's pretty long, so not, not a bad looking snake by any means. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna, oh, Kingfisher, we're just gonna let this guy go. Um, go ahead and film that release clip as well. Down and he'll uh, slither. Let's see right in there. I'll try to get some, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, oh, there's the uh, leopard frog, All right? Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I see it. Right there. In the middle of your screen under that grass. We're gonna try to grab it. Never mind, it's a bullfrog. Damn, I thought it was a leopard, but just a bull. Uh, I don't know where that wandering garter went. He's uh, still around. Um, nice area, but yeah, so bullfrog. Cool. This big uh, crayfish bowl right here as well. Looks like a neo tripeo. Oh, there's a second smaller one too. That's cool. 
Well, not what I hoped it was, but. All right, well, I lost a ginormous plains garter snake and an average sized wandering garter, but I got another um, average sized wandering garter, so that's cool. Just right next to the river, so yeah. Cute. This guy just kind of struck at me. Which you don't often see with wandering garters, but that was a brilliant close up. At least good. I don't even know where he went. He's like somewhere. Well, see ya. Leopard frog. Oh, right there. Yeah. 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 Um. Right there. There he is. There's a leopard frog. Just saw it. Oh, there it is. Very nice looking leopard. Some green on the glass. Hello, buddy. Right. Only find of the day. Pissed off. Here it is. He looks very bad, so I'm not going to get very close to him. But this leopard. It is beautiful. Wow. He's really jumpy, though. You do not like me. Oh, damn it. He's good. Yeah, I'm going to get him again. I'm over there, but what a beautiful frog. Yeah, he's gone. He was beautiful. So, today's a funny day. It's like 60 and cloudy and wet, and I have COVID. Um, <laughs> but, oh, hello. But it's good enough to get out and herp, and I just flipped a uh, Juvie Racer. Well, that's cool. He's definitely gonna bite me. Wow. Look at you, buddy. Grouchy little guy. Oh, we got a snake here. I don't know what kind it is. Let's see. Is it a bull? Oh my god, it's a bull snake. I haven't seen a bull snake in so long. It's a bull snake. Oh my god, and it's a small one. Little man's is pissed. He ain't gonna me. Whoa. I don't even know why I'm so afraid. He's so small. That is so cool. I haven't seen a bull snake um, other than night cruising and since early June. So that's awesome to see that. That's really cool. Bull snake. Very nice. Two species for the day. Two racers and a bull. I'm very, very glad I came out despite my COVID condition. Be out. <clears throat> One snake. One snake. I came up here to find I'm still sick with... COVID, but there you have it. That was a uh, smooth green snake. <clears throat> One of Colorado's trickiest snakes to find, in my opinion. I worked pretty hard to find this guy. Not today. I've been out for 10 minutes, probably. He was under, like, the fourth rock I flipped, so good luck, but I've worked gun scum for these guys a couple times, so very, very happy I finally got one. All right, I think I've bothered this beautiful green snake enough. It's just under the most obvious rock right here. Uh, there's some other rocks we're gonna flip just to make sure he's not alone. Um, go ahead and try to release him under his rock. Oh, you don't wanna go under his rock, I guess. Yeah, let's get that head going under the rock. Okay, now he's acting all squirmish. All right, well, I don't wanna release him under his rock though. Right, he does not want to go under his rock. Freaking snakes are so me. Come on, just go under your rock, dude. Alright. I don't know where he is right now. He's clean right here, so. I don't know what he's doing, but. Uh, he just went under ground. I don't know what he's doing, but it works for me. All right, well, there you go. Smooth green snake. I've gone and flipped a second one. I should have made a flip clip. It was the perfect rock, and I literally, when I flipped it, I was like thinking there's going to be another one under here, and there was, and I should have filmed it because it would have been the world's best flip clip, but look at that. What a beautiful snake. That's amazing. This one very freshly shed the rock. He was under, had an old shed under it, so I imagine that was his. That's all right. This guy's been kind of a, a pain. 
Um, so I'm gonna put him back under this rock. It's this big flat one right here. Go ahead and release him if he's anything like the other one, which he is, and he's not like him sitting still. He's not gonna wanna go under. Or... Yeah, see, I told you he's not gonna wanna go under his rock. Maybe you will. Nice. There he goes. Under his rock. Slowly but surely. Is he going under? Yes. There you go. Two smooth greens for the price of one. Finally, got my first prairie lizard. Beautiful. Beautiful lizard. There's another one. That's him right there. could very well be my last herp of the year. It's October 10th, wandering garter I found, chilling on the bike path in the autumn scene. Could very well be the last snake of the year, so. Hope it won't be, but you never know with herps. Happy to add a wandering garter to my yearly tally though. Has. Off he goes. He musked. He really got me good with the musk. How, how nice. How nice. Very happy I saw someone. This today. is crazy. Tiger salamander. November 3rd, I think. Yep. In the snow. Oh. We get him. Let me see if I can get a photo of him like, like right there. Sliding down. Salamander number two. Just a few minutes after the first one. Making good good progress. Hopefully not the last trip of 2022, but if so, good way to end the year. Alright guys, for a very nice surprise, it's November 8th. I'm out running right now, and I found a wandering garter. I'm oh, sorry. Just basking on the trail. How awesome is that? Oh my gosh, sorry, my finger's in the way. Can't tell if it's focused or not, but there you go. Yeah, very nice. Super cool. Probably the last snake of the year. I know I've said that a couple times now, but there you have it. November 8th. Wandering Garner on the move. Super cool. The end of the year, this guy moving. Probably going to be the last snake I see until March, so...